Hi guys and welcome back to the channel before we do begin today's video make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button make sure you guys are dropping a early like as well we are trying a bit of a different style video in today's video I'm cutting out the face cam and it's simply just my voice talking over a gameplay I do prefer this style of video a lot more let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below but in today's video I'm going to be talking about a very very touchy subject inside of Cold War right now which has been a touchy subject Probably since the release of Modern Warfare, or maybe halfway through Modern Warfare's life cycle, you guys have probably already guessed it, and that is going to be skill-based matchmaking. And everybody, I've seen it complaining on Twitter a lot. I didn't manage to hop on uh, the alpha today until about midway through the day, until about 4 4 p.m., uh, so which really isn't midway through the day, so the evening time, uh, and just play a couple of games. And I'd seen many, many people complaining, literally every single content creator out there, uh, Complaining about skill based matchmaking even my friend messaged me and he says have you played Cold War this morning? I literally can't get a decent game. I went from dropping 40 kills 10 deaths or whatever it may be like good good uh, KD uh, To pretty much going negative every single game because he couldn't compete with the players and Scum even referred to who he got the first nuclear if you didn't know inside of the game He referred to it as getting a nuclear in a CDL kill confirm game Which is stands for Call of Duty League if you didn't know meaning the players that he was playing against was super good super sweaty obviously scum skill level and personally for me skill based matchmaking in Call of Duty I don't think it belongs in the game at all the reason skill based matchmaking is in the game is simply a money making move uh, by Activision if you don't know what I mean by that it's simply because obviously if you're a new player to the game you pick up the game you get slaughtered every single game and you're not going to want to touch the game anymore you're not going to invest any more time into the game buy any DLC or recommend it to any friends or you know anyone you may know to play the game as well so obviously if you're new to the game and you start the game up you're playing against new players as well similar skill level to you you're more likely to enjoy the game to keep playing the game buy DLC and recommend it to other players That's simply the reason why skill based matchmaking is in the game in my opinion they say it's to create a better experience for everyone which yes it is if you are a not a very good player um, personally that is the reason why it's for new players skill based matchmaking benefits them the most uh, and the reason content creators seem to be slamming skill based matchmaking so much me myself included in this uh, I saw a post by Ninja he put a voice like message on Twitter s explaining obviously all these content creators are complaining because obviously they're at a peak skill level they're one of the they're some of the best players in the game obviously people who create content create on the game are more than likely you know a little bit better than your average player let's say uh, up to the you know a professional players level and if they're coming into you know skill based match lobbies they're just going to dominate the lobbies you know every single time uh, I'll use myself as an example yesterday on the beta I did not have a uh, the alpha sorry I did not have a single bad game my first game I went like 40 to 5 on the armada domination I absolutely slapped uh, and I was like this game is insane and I pretty much did the same throughout the whole rest of the day uh, you guys might have seen my AK-74U gameplay as well uh, that was an absolute beast of a gameplay and I've had many many more as well yesterday I got so many good gameplays yesterday and I have today actually the skill based matchmaking doesn't seem to have affected my account as much this gameplay you're watching was filmed literally an hour ago um, it's you know the players are half decent they know what's going off I do I am having quite a death streak here which is unfortunate but I'm not getting absolutely slaughtered I think I managed to get an attack helicopter at some point uh, obviously the streaks work differently this time yet round but you still need a fair amount of kills to be able to actually obtain the streak itself and stringing kills together getting kill streaks does earn the reward quicker as well I do believe I'm not 100% sure how they're working still the streaks but bear with me on that one so my probably overview on skill based matchmaking is the fact that it's just to benefit new players to the game bring more new players to the game and a money making move in that part that sense should I say uh, by people you know buying DLC recommending it and obviously they're enjoying the game more which is to be expected but from a content creation point of view even if you're not a content creator view a content creator sorry if you're just a regular guy who plays Call of Duty day in day out like I did myself or my friends have you know I'm the only one at my friends who does content create they just you know play the game just as much as me if not more than me take it very very seriously and skill based matchmaking it does in fact ruin the experience for these type of players in my opinion it's not fun playing against sweats it never has been it never will be let's take Black Ops 2 for example there was no skill based matchmaking in that game whatsoever there was good players in your lobby there was bad players in your lobby and it was such a fun experience you could go on insane streets 
streaks one game, the next game you're getting slapped. You know, that's just the way it was, and that's the way it should be, you know. You get a little bit of everything, you get a bot lobby one game, next lobby you might get come up against a six-man god squad, you know. It's one of them, it's, that adds a little bit of character to the game as well, in my opinion. You know, when you're in a game, a lobby with your friends, and you're in, let's say, search and destroy, you come up against a six-man clan god squad, the master prestige, you know they're taking it very seriously. It makes the game a little bit more competitive, That you know, that once that one game, the next game you might slap, you know, they might not be in the lobby the next game. Uh, I do personally think uh, skill-based matchmaking should strictly be kept to a ranked playlist, a league play playlist, you know, that is the competitive playlist, and that's where ranked should, you know, that should where it should live. It shouldn't come into pubs whatsoever, it should be on the basis where you could get a god squad one lobby, or a bot squad the next, and, you know, it adds a little bit more character to the game, in my opinion, makes it more fun. Then you could have the odd competitive pubs match, which is fun, but having every single you know, game where it's a sweat fest and it's very, very difficult to get a gameplay. Like Modern Warfare, for example, I think overall in Modern Warfare I've had five to six nukes. Uh, all of them lobbies have not been the best of players. I've never reverse boosted once in my life, uh, which obviously that is the way around skill-based matchmaking is to reverse boost. It made it very difficult to get gameplays on content, and I hope that's not going to be the same for this game, but it's looking likely... But I'd love to know what your guys' view on skill-based matchmaking is. Uh, it's a very, very touchy subject, so let me know down in the com comments below what you do think of it. But apart from that, guys, this is unfortunately going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the Cold War Alpha. Let me know what you think of it down below as well. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. Make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button, dropping a like as well. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, they're in the description below as well. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.